good morning. Please excuse the red puffy eyes. It's my allergies. My allergies are bad. I forgot to do my video yesterday. <laughs> but, um, I uh, wanted to tell you guys, I did not weigh myself. I know it's going to sound weird that I'm clapping that I did not weigh myself, but that's actually a really good thing because I've been trying to stay away from the scale so the scale doesn't depress the hell out of me. I am going to start something new. I'm going to start measuring myself. But because you guys never come and visit me on my blog, you only visit me on YouTube. I'm going to put my measurements on my blog, not on YouTube. So, <laughs> that way if you guys want to know what my measurements are, you have to come to my blog to see it. Because I never stand up in the video, so you guys don't actually get to see how big I am. And I'm really, really big, right? And, uh, but I have a really small waist, which is really interesting. And so the measurements are going to be fun. It's going to be like big number, little number, big, big, big number. Because I'm actually bigger at the bottom than I am at the top normally. But I notice uh, with the exercises that I've been doing, my hips are going in. Yeah, get my fist on. But, <laughs> ah, but yeah, so my hips are getting to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and measure myself now. So I can update you guys every week on what my new measurements are. Okay, so I'm going to do that this morning, and I'll put it on the blog. So you have to go to the blog. Now, my daughter has been doing the same exercises. And in roughly two weeks, she's lost like four inches off her waist, which is really, really good. And I forgot to measure her hips this morning. I forgot to measure her hips this morning. We didn't measure her hips until last week, so I don't know what that was. But she lost four inches. Yay! So that's really, really good. And she's just doing like anywhere from four to six exercises in the morning and four to six in the evening before she goes to bed. So that's, that's it. Now, speaking of my exercises, I was in the middle of reading an email from my buddy Barbie. That comes on my blog and she talks to me and y'all should come on my blog and talk to me too because then you can see some of the other tips that Barbie and I are just discovering within our own households like she eats. She loves beans because beans are so filling. I love beans also but I didn't think about how filling they were. So it's like there's all kind of weight revelations that we come to on the blog just having our discussions. We're just like two sisters from another mister. I'm telling you. She's so awesome. But I am going to turn my attention to Barbie right now. Oh, my eyes. I'm going to turn my attention to Barbie right now because I, I couldn't even finish the video. I mean, I couldn't even finish the email. I had to get off the computer and come and tell her on the video uh-uh, girlfriend. <laughs> I've been bugging Barbie about this, about doing those calinetics, about doing the calinetics exercises. And she's like, Timoni, you have asked me that twice. And I'm going, dang, I was wondering if I asked her that already. <laughs> but I, I've been bugging her about it, and this is why. I, I really like the exercises, but they're really great at body shaping, and I like that. So I can actually see the changes. Even if I don't see it on the scale, I can actually see them within myself. But Barbie, I have got to tell you that there are exercises within all those calinetic workouts and all this stuff that you can do. Standing. Oh yes. You thought you got away, didn't you? No, you did not get away. No, no. Cause there's like one where you like turn just standing and turning like that and just holding it. You know, or well bouncing with it. But there's that one, there's one where you put your hands behind you and you because the chair is here I can't really do it, but 
you kind of bring in your hands, your your wrists together as closely as you can. So, uh, and behind your back, and you're holding that and you're counting. Um, there's another one that you actually use a chair for that you're going to put your hand there on the chair. And you're, you're just leaning over like that. It's supposed to make your waist smaller. So, none of which involve getting on the floor, which is great because I have really, really bad knees. My knee... <laughs> My knees and my back are like in competition here lately. But yeah, my knees are going through hell. So you won't be getting on the floor for a lot of the exercises. The bulk of the exercises, let's see. I haven't recently, I have not done any floor exercises. Everything has been standing up because my knees have been hurting so badly. And then when I do something where I need to sit down, it's like, me sitting in the bed with my feet together and I'm just basically stretching. That's it. You know, or I'll open my legs all the way and I'll stretch and I'll do that on the bed. I'm not even, I'm not getting on the floor. So, the stand-up exercises I described, at least give those a try. If y'all are going to try them, at least give those stand-up ones a try because I really think that the calinetics was like made for people who have bad knees because <laughs> there's so much I can do. <coughs> oh, without getting on the floor. This change in weather, I think, is starting to get to me too, not just my allergies. Oh, but I'm glad my eyes are really starting to feel better. This is my second take on the video because I just erased the first one because I went into this big old rant. <clears throat> and I'm going to try not to go through that big rant again, but... If you look back here in my background, you see that I was watching Squawk Box. Well, I don't know. It might have gone off since I've been talking. But that's what I was watching this morning. I was watching Squawk Box, which is why you see the ticker at the bottom of the screen. And I try to watch, you know, shows like that every morning, Squawk Box every morning if I can. And just kind of see what the stock market is doing. But they ticked me off this morning. <coughs> So the beginning of my video was like this big 20 minute rant about the economy and disillusional people. Okay. Dang. Okay, so it's not on there anymore. Yeah, the opening bell should have started by then. But, um, they were discussing McDonald's and it pissed me off. <laughs> it pissed me off. Okay. This is why, and I'm going to try not to go into this big old, you know, because I try to keep finance conversations for Mondays on the blog. But, this one really got me and I really want to talk about it because uh, one guy was like, Ugh, McDonald's, did you, everybody, they're all going, did you see McDonald's numbers yesterday morning? Oh my God, that was awful. And one, they're, have, they're all feeling sorry for McDonald's and I'm going. They don't feel sorry for me if I go through that drive-thru and order, you know, my McDouble. Hello? That when I get up there, are they going to take my I'm sorry? Hell no, they're going to take my money. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, just don't have the sympathy for McDonald's. But, they're like, oh, they got to quit giving stuff away. And, I, and the lady that was hosting the show was like, there's, I, I really think that they're going to start taking things off that value menu. And I'm going. I'm fighting, telling her, bitch, go kill yourself. Because, seriously, things off the value menu. It costs McDonald's less than a penny to make one of their basic hamburgers. Like the ones that you get in the Happy Meal. Okay? And think about how many Happy Meals. <clears throat> when you go to McDonald's, how many Happy Meals you're seeing go by? Right? And it costs them less than a penny. Less than a penny. Okay? Less than a penny to make one hamburger. They have to make a stack of hamburgers in order. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, 10 or 12. It's, it, they have to make a crap load of hamburgers. 
before they run into a cost of one penny. Okay? That's freaking amazing that they can do that. Kudos to McDonald's. But hurting for money, they are not. Okay? So all the sympathy and oh, devastation for McDonald's, get real. Two, McDonald's is in the business of real estate. They are not in the business of hamburgers. Let's be real, okay? Real estate. Where is McDonald's located? How many intersections are owned by this company? Okay? McDonald's is not hurting. Why in a country in this country do we have more sympathy for huge companies like this? <coughs> That's sorry, it's my daughter. Why do we have more more sympathy for these big companies? than we do for our fellow man. That is so st stupid. Really, people, wake the fuck up because it's dumb. We have all this sympathy for these companies who could give two shits in a bucket about you. Okay? Get real. Stop feeling sorry for major corporations and treating major corporations as if they're humans. They are not. Have more sympathy for your fellow man. Ugh. That made me so mad this morning. Just something that tiny, right? <laughs> it's like, ugh. You know, that's dumb. It's like, it's just like when you vote. When you vote for propositions or candidates, you're going to vote for the person who can do the most for your economic state of mind, for what's going on in your household. That's who the hell you vote for. That's the proposition that you vote for. You vote for what directly affects you as a human being. You do not vote so that you can make this corporation bigger or so that this company will be better. Or you damn sure don't vote for this ticker at the bottom of the screen. That ticks me off too. That really makes me mad when people do that. Because people, we got to become more selfish with our voting practices. Okay? When we vote for propositions and things like that, we have to think about ourselves. We have to think about the fellow man. We don't have to think about this ticker at the bottom of the screen. This is Bank of America. Up. J.P. Morgan Chase. Up. Okay? That's them getting richer. It's not you. <laughs> it is so not you. Okay? Because this country is built on the back. Of poor people. This country is still run by poor people. And baby once we realize our own self worth. We will be one dangerous ass country. Because. Poor people. Built this country. Poor people are still running this country. But poor people have no clue that they're running this country. If we don't have <clears throat> money to spend. And we don't have a way. In which to get out into the stores. And to get out and purchase things at different places. Guess what? This number won't go up. Okay? So if that number's not going up, it's because of people like us who are not out there spending money. That's when our Congress and our government finally gets together and says, Oh, maybe they need a stimulus check. That means let's throw some pennies at the poor people so that they will run their stupid asses out to the stores. Spend the money, and guess what? Make these numbers go up, okay? We have more concern about these numbers than we do about what goes on in our household. And that just bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> that bothers me. So that's like, that's what's, that's what's irking some moment today. Okay. So, back to weight conversations. Because this stuff right here, it makes me so mad. I just... <laughs> When they talk about the economy and, oh, the fiscal cliff ends at, on December 31st. And, and shut the hell up, for real. Because what they're saying is what they're, what they're stating is reality for them in their world and their tax bracket. Okay? Not your tax bracket. Damn sure not my tax bracket. And not my next door neighbor's tax bracket. Okay? 
Which is why I always respect everybody's vote. I respect how you vote because I always automatically assume that you're going to vote based on your economic state. We're all on the same map physically here, but we are t on totally different maps when it comes to our economic state. So, it's just like my neighbor across the street. You know, she's a, a very proud Republican. I have the utmost respect for her in that regard because she does display who she votes for and she's very proactive about that. But she's voting based on her economic state and that's not my economic state. So I have to vote for who I want to vote for. And I never vote straight tickets either. So don't try to go, oh, Tamona's a Democrat because I really don't claim any of those six. Thank you very much. It's like gangs, if you ask me. It's like gangsters. Bloods and Crips. Republicans and Democrats. So I reserve the right to vote for whoever the hell I want to vote for. And that's what I do. Now, I'm doing really good this week with the exercises. I have way more energy, as you can probably see by the videos. I'm going to put the measurements on the website so we can start tracking it, tracking my weight that way since I'm not getting on the scale and I'm really trying to avoid the scale. Um, eating, I can do better. I'm starting to eat more. But I'm also exercising more so that may have a little bit to do with it. I just need to remind myself to eat those small meals every day and incorporate nuts as snacks because I keep forgetting about nuts and I have pistachios which are the best for you. I have almonds that I love and I just need to start getting to where I incorporate that. I also need to incorporate eating my prunes because when I have a great day in the bathroom when I eat my prunes and I love prunes and prune juice and I'm going to tell you this really quick 